Melissa, a three-year-old boy here at Riley at IU Health, the only shooting victim to survive this horrendous act. Two of his other family members, two men, were also shot, but police say they died tonight. The family had gathered here at this place that you see on your screen right now for a repast. That's the meal after a funeral. Police were called out to Magnolia Lane after 6.30 p.m. Police say they searched the crowd for the victims. Two men shot and a little boy also shot. That child was shot in the hand. One man died on the scene. The other was rushed to Eskenazi Hospital, but he did not survive. Homicide detectives searched for answers. You could hear the family screaming right there. Homicide detectives searched for answers while family members broke down in tears. One had to be carried away on a stretcher. Some erupted in anger as they learned of the sad news. Metro Police now trying to talk to as many of the victim's family members as possible to find out the motive behind this crime and the person who pulled the trigger. There's a lot of emotion in the air. There was emotion in the air before this incident occurred because of why they were gathered. So, I mean, emotions are high. You're absolutely right. So our event response group, you know, I can't say enough good things about them. They are of that peaceful posture. Now, at last check, Metro Police say they weren't sure if there was just one shooter or multiple shooters at this event where family members had gathered. They do tell me, though, that they know that multiple shots were fired into that crowd of grieving family members tonight. Reporting live outside Riley at IU Health, Liz Adiola, RTV6.